A total of four City of Memphis first responders have been hit by cars within the last 48 hours. Tonight, two MPD officers were rushed to the hospital after a crash in the Gramwood area. Hello, I'm Stephanie Skirtlock. And I'm Greg Hurst. WREG's Bria Jones joins us now live from the downtown precinct with the latest on their conditions. And Bria, how are they doing? Well, Greg and Stephanie, tonight MPD says the two officers are in non-critical condition. Witnesses tell us a driver was speeding in the northeast part of town when the crash happened. Memphis police on the scene of yet another crash involving public safety employees within two days. This time, two MPD officers taken to the hospital in non-critical condition after a SUV collides with a squad car on North Graham. Kay Montagu was passing by when it happened. <laughs> Wow. MPD says one person was detained at the scene. I saw this lady come, come like speeding like she was running from somebody. This has to stop. The crash comes on the heels of two incidents involving emergency response vehicles. Early Sunday morning, two Memphis firefighters were injured after being hit by a car while working a crash on I-240. That driver is now facing charges. And on Friday, a TDOT worker was killed on I-55 while inspecting a bridge. Fire Chief Gina Sweat is now calling for stricter penalties for drivers who don't heed the state's move-over law. It's ridiculous that they do not respect uh, emergency vehicles. I need to say something to the citizens of Memphis. I need them to slow down. I need them to move over. Stiffer laws Montagu would like to see in place. They have no, no respect for the red lights. They have no respect for the siren until something changes where people can actually get some common courtesy and decency. Nothing's going to nothing's going to change. At this time, police have not said if the driver in this latest accident will face any charges. Now reporting live downtown, Bria Jones, WREG News Channel 3. We'll stay on top of it, Bria. Thanks.